Dr. Mary Kutarushu is a neurosurgeon from Greece. She was brought to the University of Louisville a couple of years ago to do a very technical type of brain surgery that's being done by few other surgeons around the world. There are surgeries that we do through the nose with the endoscope. So instead of shaving the head, pulling the skin back, cutting the bone and retracting the brain to get to a tumor, Dr. Kutarushu goes through the nose. What we do now from the nose, sticking the endoscope, which is with the light on the camera, inside the nostril, you can see the angle. It is a straightforward approach. And we can reach the skull base with the tumors that originate from here directly through the nose without the skin incision, without the uh, uh, removal of the bone, without the retraction of the brain. And it is the retraction of the brain the main reason that people have complications and long recovery after a brain surgery. We can remove the tumor without giving him the complications of seizures, uh, stroke, all these things can, that can happen when we retract the brain. Easier? It's not. Actually, it is more difficult for a neurosurgeon because it has an extensively long learning curve. Not all of Dr. Kutarushu's patients, including this one, are candidates for the endoscopic surgery. Only those whose tumors are at the base of the skull and can be reached through the nose. But the endoscopic surgery results in shorter hospital stays and no visible evidence of brain surgery. There is no scar at all. Everything is happening through the two nostrils, so there is no skin incision. There is nothing visible. No one can say that we have surgery. It sounds almost, almost too good to be true. Remove brain tumors through the nostrils, through the nose, it's like fix your.